Hey everybody, Chad here with Nature Box Pet Emporium in Aurora, Colorado. We're about a week away from our grand opening and I'm going through and creating all of our naturalistic terrariums. Uh, we want to do quick terrarium tip number one uh, is separation of drainage layer from your soil layer. We're going to be doing roughly weekly uh, a video of some sort, just a quick tip, um, something that we do here at the store that maybe you can incorporate in, uh, into your own uh, husbandry of your pet reptile, amphibian, or other. So we have 18 12 12 12 terrariums here. All of the terrariums get a roughly two inch drainage layer of the Zoom Air Tiger Balls, which you can purchase online and at our store. And then on top of that, we do a layer of long grain New Zealand sphagnum moss, which creates a separation between your drainage layer and your soil layer. If you don't have a drainage layer, your soil will just turn to mud and it's not very uh, appealing at all. The, the frogs don't like it, plants don't like it, it starts to smell and it kind of just becomes a big swamp. So to avoid that, you want to separate your layers. So take your uh, just long grain sphagnum moss, uh, Zoomed makes this, uh, every manufacturer has a labeling of the same long grain sphagnum moss. It just depends upon your personal preference. I personally like Zoomed or um, there's a few different uh, uh, bulk suppliers of it uh, like Orchid Houses and whatnot that we also sell at our store. So if you want a bigger quantity we have you covered there too. So all you have to do is soak your long grain moss in some water which will rehydrate it and then put it in your terrarium. I've already done several terrariums here as you can see. We have 18 to do. Spread it out. I'll have to get some more moss to finish this one, but you'll get the idea. Soak it or uh, squeeze it, get some of the water out. Spread it out evenly. Tuck it in the corners, tuck it in the side so the soil doesn't get down there, compact it a little bit, and that will create that, that separation of the soil in your drainage layer so you don't end up with a, a, a swamp terrarium instead of a beautiful naturalistic planted terrarium with live plants. But that's, uh, that's about it. A lot of people use will use screen to divide the layers. Screen's fine, nothing's wrong with screen at all. That does a great job. However, in dry climates like the desert or like we have up in the, in the high desert for all intents and purposes of, uh, of Denver, Colorado, where it's still really dry, using the long grain sphagnum moss acts like a, just a humidity sponge. As the water from your misting goes down, the, the moss only absorbs a certain amount. Once it's reached its peak of absorption, the water will then drain to the to the uh, to the drainage layer, while retaining a certain amount of moisture that will keep your soil dry. So, which in turn will keep your soil moist, which in turn will keep your terrarium humid. So that's terrarium tip number one from Nature Box Pet Emporium. Make sure you subscribe to this uh, video on YouTube, like our Facebook page, and follow us on uh, Instagram and Twitter. See you next time.